All right, today we're gonna be installing a tack on a V Star 1100. I already got it mounted up. <clears throat> Pretty simple, it's just that, that. Then you run the wires, which would be in this case, this guy right here. Just run it right here. So, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna remove this back seat, this, and the gas tank, and then I'll show y'all. Okay, so all I've done is remove the, the back seat, the driver's the actual seat, disconnected the harness from the gas tank, removed the gas tank, loosened up these two 10 bolts right here, that one. Once you disconnect those, this comes right off. I haven't done it yet. And then I removed this battery. I'm about to remove this battery cover. Up until this point, all you need is a four millimeter Allen wrench, a five millimeter. You're gonna need this later. Some spade connectors. I'll show, I'll show you, I'll show, give you the item number. Wire strippers, a 12 and a 10 millimeter wrench, and then miscellaneous Allen wrenches. All right, let me get down to the wiring. All right, so like I mentioned before, I got the covers off. The tag's up here. The wire goes all the way down here. So from the tag, you have a negative wire. That one, you're gonna put a butt end connector to it. Continue the wire all the way down the frame rail to get to the, the negative terminal of the, of the battery. That's all you have to do for the black wire for the, the rest of these. So the red and the blue they get joined together like that, and then the green is by itself. And all right, so now I'm gonna do the wiring. They're gonna wire into these two terminals, this one and this one. And that's where these uh, piggyback space connectors are gonna come in handy. That way you don't have to fuck up these cables. All you have to do is just connect them to the space connector and they're straight. So let me go do, it, do that right now. Remember, it's just the blue and red and then green by itself. All right, so all I've done up until this point is just narrow this spade connector using a combination of snips and then filing down the rough edges. And I did just snipped off those hands and then just kind of cleaned them with the burrs because the orange cable, this orange cable here is more narrow. So the, the normal spade will not work with that. So you have to narrow this one down. Right. Okay, so now it's got some, a, a spade connector on the green wire and then a the double red and blue they have their own snip uh, spade connector <clears throat> so now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put the, the piggybacks right here on both sides and then just gonna wire these guys up connect the battery and then she'll be straight now, I do suggest that you disconnect the battery I didn't do it in this case I don't know why I didn't I just don't feel like doing it anymore even though I can but you should um, anyways I'll show you when it's done all right, here we go. The piggybacks are installed, like so. The next thing is to wire it up. All right, so I got it wired up. So as you can see, it's the blue and the red with the red and black cable on the same piggyback. And then on the back side is the green wire onto the orange cable, if you can see that right there. That's on the same piggyback. So that's all wired up now. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna reroute this cable because I just have some zip ties or just kind of see if it works. I don't actually, I don't have any more zip ties, so all I have to do is wire the negative, turn the back on, see if you work, run. All right, so I got side tried doing some other stuff on the carbs, but anyways, I was about to put it back together, but my stupid cable became undone from the quick connect. So I'm just gonna kind of clamp it on there just to show you that it works, but yeah, I need to fix this. So that, that was, it's like, wow, it was so close. But let me get this done. All right, got everything wired up. <clears throat> Turn the moment of truth. We put this in the ignition. Alright. So start. We put it in neutral real quick. Alright, neutral. Let's check this out. Jokes on.
all right, so after we put it all back together, uh, that tech should work perfectly. You could choose where you want to mount it. You don't have to mount it there. Uh, some notes. Like I said, I was highly suggest putting some heat shrink on all those connectors. I'm probably gonna do that later. But right now, I just wanna get it wired. I need to fix the battery, but it's a pretty straightforward job. Not too complicated. Once um, I'll post a schematic on how this is supposed to be wired, if I could find the paper. But if not, just follow the video and you'll be able to install it. It's not a big, not a big job, like I said. Good job, guys, and good luck, guys.